Hey guys, Potato Mike Whiskey here, and welcome to a sort of part two of our rookie tutorial. Now, in the very first episode, we built this ship, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the next sort of evolution, the next step up, and what you're going to need to unlock in order to build it. After you've played a few games, you're probably going to be trying to build something like this if you're using this version of the rookie ship. The first thing you're going to need to unlock is you're going to go up into the research screen and you're going to look around for something. I have it already unlocked, so I can't exactly show you, but it is here in the uh, tab block menu. And you're going to be looking to unlock the Gatling Goss. That's the very, that's the very first thing you're going to want to unlock. And uh, so we'll place these on it. And you're going to want to place these probably around the midriff of your ship, like so. Now that's the first upgrade to the ship. And this is going to give you some extra range without sacrificing too much firepower. And range right now in the game is pretty damn important, considering if you can shoot them and they can't shoot you, you win the fight. Okay, the next part you're going to upgrade is you're going to look to buy armor. And uh, our placing armor is fairly simple, so I'll mainly just kind of go over the basics. You have these sort of flat cubes that are flat pieces that go on top of um, your square pieces. You can also put them on like this, but it's more, much more efficient to do it differently. So this is the sort of general layout. I'll just do one side on video and then I'll um, do the other side off camera so you can see what it should look like. You have prisms here to fill out where the old prisms were. And now the important thing to know about armor is that it actually has twice as much health as these normal blocks. So it is very important to try and get armor onto your ship. And you're going to want to just repeat this all around the ship. And there we have it. All around, we have completed the armoring of the ship. This isn't going to make you incredibly tanky, but it is going to make you stronger than you were before. Although it is important to note that it is going to make you slower than you were before. So you'll be less maneuverable. So that's something you're going to have to keep in mind when you're flying this ship now. The next important thing to note is that the health of the Gatling Goss Cannon is actually a little bit less than having armor. So it might actually be a weakness to have it on top of your core. So we're going to space those guns out like we did before with the lasers. I'll put one at the front and one at the back like I did previously. And I'll make sure to repeat this on this, on this side. Now you could use mirroring for this, but it's such a small change that I don't really worry. And now that has used up about an extra 100 CPU to change put on this armor. Um, but we can continue to go further. So in order to get to this stage, you're only going to need a few levels and a little bit of unlocking. And then you've got a 700 CPU rookie ship that's reasonably strong. Um, the next step is probably to add more engines to keep it maneuverable in comparison to the previous iterations. So I'm going to stick on two more engines. And there we have it. Now we have an 800 CPU ship. And so this is probably going to get you through the rookie stages. But if you want to keep upgrading it, you can simply just add guns as you unlock CPU. I like to put one on top and one on the bottom. And there you have it. You've built a pretty damn successfully strong ship just by unlocking Gatling, uh, the Gauss Gatling armor and by sticking a couple of extra engines on it. Now, there's going to be other things you might want to consider. For example, we have here the tactical jump, we have the engine overload, and the generator overload. These are things that you're probably going to unlock pretty early. And I would suggest the tactical jump is a pretty good thing to put on your ship at some point. Now, where exactly you put it, uh, it's not really a huge deal. I personally like to put it somewhere near the back. For example, along here. Just delete three blocks. Oh, wait, hold on, sorry. Like that. And then you place armor over the top of it. It is kind of, it does make your ship a little bit weaker to do stuff like that. But I think having the extra ability is well worth it. And similarly, you can do something else if you unlock, you know, if you get enough AP like I have here, is you can stick the generator overload on the other side and then put armor over the top of it. All right, so. I'm going to take this ship out for a spin and show you what I can do. So for this ship, this is Sir Edson. He is the long range ship on the enemy team. I'm going to want to 
based on the his positioning of his guns, I know that these guns can't shoot backwards. So what I want to do is I want to try and find the place where none of the guns can point at me. And it's from down here. So when I'm attacking this guy, I'm going to want to attack him from behind so that he can't shoot me when I'm hitting him. So I'm going to want to use my tactical jump, my speed boost, and I'm going to want to actually just get behind him and shoot him from the rear. The other guys, it doesn't really matter because typically they will have guns that can shoot in every direction. It's only when you get to the second tier of guns, you're going to want to start worrying about stuff like that. Starting off, we're not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to move along forward, pushing forward, just kind of not trying to um, get too out of position. Just near our allies and looking for someone who we can pick off. Now, it is very important that you don't just blink in like these guys are doing, although they are frigates, so they can kind of get away with it a little bit if they play smart. But you're going to want to just push forward slowly, find a position where you feel safe and you can sh fight from. See, look, they're charging this really strong guy. This is the wrong thing to do. Don't just charge in on your own. Like, here's a guy I can blink over to help him. And now I'm in the fight. I'm just going to try and make sure I point my ship at this guy so I do maximum damage. Zoom in a little bit. Turn on my generator overload so I don't run out of power as I shoot him. Firing. Rotate my ship a little bit to make sure I'm shooting with all guns. Nice, okay, we killed one. And we took a little bit of damage to our front, but all of our systems are still online. That was overall a pretty good trade for us. Make sure you stick near your allies and look for people who get out of position. Now it looks like things are getting crazy over here. Alright, nice. You're going to want to just fly erratically. There's a plasma guy shooting at me, so I'm going to want to just move around. Kind of weird. Look for easy kills. I know his core is in the back, so I'm going to try and focus near the back. Okay, got his core. And now this is the guy I wanted to attack from the rear. Okay, I got him. Taking quite a bit of damage. And that was it. So, in one life we managed to get one kill, three assists, and we're second in the team. Just by playing smart, picking our targets, and having a well-built ship that can take a lot of damage if we rotate it. Now, don't be afraid to use your mo mobility spells to get back into the fight quickly. Because oftentimes that can turn a fight from a losing fight to a winning fight, like over here. I'm going to use my speed boost to get over here to help. I'm going to open up on this guy. Make sure I shoot the same spot over and over, looking for his core. Didn't quite get him. Oh, goodness. He blinked away. No big deal. No big deal. We'll keep moving around here. I took a little bit of damage. I'm not too worried about it right now. My allies are... We're doing okay, but they're kind of flying off on their own over there, which is a mistake in my opinion. I did manage to kind of get out. It shot there, that was painful. He only managed to strip off a bit of my armor, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, look at these guys charging in. I really don't agree with this charge. I'm going to move into fight just because the enemies are distracted. Keep shooting him, trying to hit that core. He should die pretty soon. There we go. Now make sure it's important when you use the Gatling guns. This is something I maybe forgot to say is you lead the target that you're shooting. You don't just shoot directly at them. Try to shoot um, a little bit ahead of the direction they're moving. That's how you get to be really, really effective with them. Try and point my ship at him so I can get all six guns firing. Try to aim for his core. Try to get his core. Come on, right? Blink away. I just got a kill. Didn't take too much damage for it. Took a little bit of damage. We're still fighting. 
There's another kill. That's all it takes. It takes just a little bit of positioning, a little bit of quick thinking and good aim. And you'll do really good in this game. Strip away his armor, trying to shoot his core. Try and get my middle pointed at him. <laughs> oh, I'm getting shot from behind, so I want to use my speed boost to try and chase this guy down. And there we go. Man, I got the highest score, the most kills, and the least deaths. Awesome. And that's more or less the kind of way you want to play. You want to play carefully, you want to aim well, and you want to sort of avoid getting out of position. Avoid dying. If you're dying, your team is losing. That's how it works. If you're alive and you're doing damage and not taking damage, your team is winning. So hopefully that kind of illustrated the basic idea behind this ship. And then, um, then I'm probably going to talk about a little bit about how to build a, maybe a cruiser, maybe building a battleship like this one, maybe building a, uh, a high level destroyer. We'll have a look. I'll probably talk a little bit about building frigates because I think they're pretty interesting to play for a lot of people. Um, but that's more or less going to be it. That's going to cover this sort of basic tutorial. And, and you, can, um, you can do the same thing more or less with any other weapons. But I think the Gatling guns right now in the current game with the way the balance is, they're the best ones because they have the most range. Sure, it's harder to hit people, and there are times when the phasers are better, but right now I think the Gatlins are just better all around. Okay, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I want to make sure to remind you to like the video if you want to directly support the channel, and uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to give me direct feedback on this guide, maybe I was too confusing or something, please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.